All right, I've showed this uh, many times on the channel. This is a Lorenz attractor, and um, it is chaotic theory. It's some uh, differential equations that allow it to, to do fancy things. And uh, it's uh, kind of partially stable around two places, and it just is chaotic as it goes around and around and around. If you've watched uh, the Three Body Problem uh, <laughs> series on Netflix, uh, it gets even worse than this. There's a bunch of chaos in these systems, and uh, this is a two body problem. Uh, so uh, I had a board that I hand wired, and I thought, well, why don't we go ahead and clean it up and make a PC board, and then maybe other people can enjoy it. So let's go, uh, let's go take a look at the schematic and the layout, and then we'll come back and look at some, uh, look at the final product. All right, so this circuit originally came from Paul Horowitz of Horowitz and Hill fame. Um, and uh, so he came up with a circuit that allows you to do these differential equations. And uh, yeah, so I put his uh, little spiel there on the uh, uh, spiel. Yeah, spiel, I guess. Um, on the um, schematic here. So this is the schematic. Um, you have two multipliers and a quad op amp. So the op amps are set up to, uh, to do integrals, I guess. And uh, anyway, there are values here. This uh, column of resistors sets the values in the, uh, in the equation. And it sets up these values, S equals 10, R equals 28, and B equals 8 over 3. So that's if you do the math, that's what you end up with over here. There is one weird thing is that these multipliers uh, multiply uh, X and Y together, but then they divide by 100, uh, which is kind of weird. And then they have an addition. So they have a, 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 a addition also at the end. So they multiply and then they add. That's used for an offset. The original parts that Paul Hora was a user are kind of expensive parts. And so this one uses a little bit cheaper part. Just, they're not <laughs> terribly cheap, but uh, 8633s. And so uh, included here is a um, uh, offset. So it, it nominally is around zero, and then you can offset it to, to make the thing happier. Um, and uh, I saw that on another person's circuit that did this, and I took his idea, but then uh, put in this uh, times... 10 multiplier or divide by 10 multiplier. Anyway, uh, that is the circuit. There's one leftover, uh, one leftover op amp. But yeah, um, let's take a look at the PC board. All right, this is how the PC board turned out. Uh, M side dog approved. And uh, yeah, so plus minus 12 volts. And uh, the output is uh, Z minus Y and X. I can turn off the uh, copper pores. There's there's a um, there's a uh, top copper pore and a bottom copper pore. This is the bottom copper pore, and this is the top copper pore. Um, yeah, there you go, uh, Lorenzo tractor. So let's uh, let's get these ordered and see uh, see how they perform. All right, we've got boards back. Uh, thanks to PCB Wave for supplying the boards. Um, they look just like the layout, and uh, so I've loaded one up here and I tried it out, and uh, uh, we had a snag. Um, about there was a um, snag. They 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 don't. They don't think they're pretty sure that he has no uh, no brain function. So I used a library part for the uh, multipliers, and they were the wrong pinout for the vice I had. Yes, I should have checked. Um, and uh, I think from now on I'll just do my, all my own parts whenever I lay something out. But anyway, these boards are useless. A few moments later. All right, deja vu. Thanks to PCB Way for supplying boards. <laughs> These are on the back. It says Rev B. These are the Rev B boards. <laughs> yeah. So these boards work. Uh, I created my own part, 
and uh, yeah, then it's uh, it works out just fine. There was also a silk screen error on the other board, so it's nice that I spun the board. So these actually turned out turned out pretty good. Inside Dog approved the second revision. They don't, did not approve the first revision. So uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, here is the board in question. And hooking it up, we get this. So let me move the camera a bit here. You're in the way. All right. So this picture is with channel one connected to the X channel. And the Y channel is connected to channel two on the oscilloscope. I can uh, move things around. I can do X and minus Y. And you get a picture like that, which is pretty cool. I can do Z and minus Y. And that's pretty cool as well. Let's, uh, let's see here. I need to zoom, push this one down. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you can, you can imagine these things in three dimensions. And you're looking at different axes of the thing. Uh, but yeah, depending on where you, uh, depending on what, what things you hook up, X, Y, it, it's a uh, X minus Y and Z. And so different, uh, different configurations give you different plots. Um, and we'll go back to the one that everybody is familiar with and I'll whiten this out a bit. Oops. Not that one, this one. There we go. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, these will be available on the uh, PCBWay share site uh, if you are so inclined to get them.